And I, I, I don't like everybody, but it can't, doesn't stop me from loving them. There's some people I have to love from a really long distance. <laughs> Not see them for a long time, then I can love them a lot. I look out there and I don't see very many happy people. I don't see very many people living a life that they really, really enjoy all the way through thoroughly. We come onto the planet completely enlightened. We come on completely self-actualized, unconditionally, unconsciously though. If you talk to a child about enlightenment or unconscious or enlightenment or self-actualization, it makes absolutely no sense to them. Right? But they're only in the moment. The Dalai Lama says we have one purpose in, a, in life, and that's to be happy. Can we be as happy as kids? It, it seems so. Can I enhance somebody's vitality? And how do you know if somebody's vitality is enhanced? Well, they're having more fun. They're more curious. They're more relaxed. When you, go and you see somebody under stress, it's easy to see if you can make them more stressful. You know, a restaurant or a cashier, I think just by doing something to see if you can piss them off. Right? But if you can go in and you can just say something to get them more engaged, more connected, more living their lives, I don't know whether it's a service or not, but out of that, I get more vital. They get more vital. Why don't people move? Because they have a circle of friends that have a picture of them and they keep them in that fold of life. And whatever you, whatever direction you go to move in, you're going to find somebody that's going to try to keep you from moving in that direction, especially if they're living a mediocre life. If you go into your life every day expecting things to be as they are, they'll turn up as they are. If you go looking with curiosity to see what's there, it's a lot easier to find curious, happy people. A lot of people say, I don't want to be with Mick. I don't like him. I, the weekends are tough. The weekends are not comfortable. But the impact is worth it. Afterwards is what's really cool. My life, I go out into this, this neat world or things get more productive or whatever, whatever it is they want, happens. Can I exist on planet Earth in a happy state, serving other people through what I do? If you change, the world changes around you. People find how much they really like themselves. You know, that's when I did my first class in this on Monday morning, I looked in the mirror and I thought, I, I really like this guy. Why not be happy? Right, if we can find a way to sustain and maintain our happiness, or at least regain it. You know, if, if you can't sustain it, just find a way to regain it. Let's see how many happy people we can get on the planet. We've got everything we need. What I've got is what everybody's looking for. This has been a guide to life by Fresh Idea Productions. <laughs> <laughs>